Hello and welcome. Numerous people are being conned as a result of Instagram's refusal to grant love hate e new CEO Carl Dawkins a verification blue tick, according to the well-known crypto celebrity. Meta, the parent company of Facebook, owns Instagram. Both social media platforms have rigorous policies limiting the advertisements from cryptocurrency businesses they will run, but they appear to be much less attentive when it comes to safeguarding their users from fraudsters. Dawkins is not asking for a blue tick for his own egotism, he is an advisor to the UK crypto and digital assets all-party parliamentary group. He only wants to defend others against con artists while also upholding his own reputation. Despite only having 1,212 followers on Instagram, the CEO of Love Hate Enu has nearly 10,000 followers on Twitter, at Carl Dawkins, where he has a prestigious blue tick. He readily acknowledges having fallen victim to con artists while serving in various capacities as a crypto executive. He was the head of growth at another cryptocurrency project, Tamadog, prior to taking on the position of CEO of Love Hate Enu. Scammers are unfortunately commonplace in the cryptocurrency market, but the work is made even more difficult when they are received with indifference from massive platforms like Instagram, which has 2.35 billion monthly users. Dawkins provides 140 verified fraud incidents for Instagram. And it's not like Dawkins hasn't offered enough indisputable proof to support his worries and demand for account verification. In reality, he has provided written documentation of 140 incidents of theft, committed by crooks using his social network alias. Carl Dawkins may not be well known enough for Instagram to consider him a public figure worthy of a blue tick. Dawkins is not just any random crypto guy either, he has a public presence that dates back to 2006, has made several TV appearances, and has held influential positions with groups like Metallica and Guns N' Roses. For Instagram, none of this is sufficient. Even when the hacktivist collective Anonymous recommended Love Hate Inu as a coin that may rival the success of Shiba Inu, a well-known cryptocurrency, nothing was done, Dawkins requests the blue tick three times, but Instagram's computer rejects each request. Even though I'm a well-known individual and others are being duped by imposters, Instagram has ignored my three requests to have my account verified. Dawkins was so frustrated that Instagram allowed fraudsters to operate freely on its platform, and thought it was time to confront the con artists. In order to face one of the worst offenders and get more proof to provide to Instagram, he purposefully went out to be conned. One such con artist, Valentine, who goes by the handle at Adalbertonito2, was caught by Dawkins, who described how he did it as follows, there's this con artist who I've seen around for about six months. He appears to be in excellent standing because he has, or had a, 492k followers and a blue tick. In Australia, New Zealand, and the US, Meta has launched a blue tick verification subscription service, however, it has not yet been made available in the Europe region. Due to the piecemeal rollout, scammers now have a large window of opportunity to increase their illegal activities, which was unintentionally created by Meta. Let's get this guy to expose his hand, Dawkins added. I used to be a semi-professional poker player in my earlier years. He offered to work as a love-hate Inu influencer. I convinced him to accept 150 instead of 1000. Let's conduct some business together, and then when you deliver, we can conduct more. I explained to him, look, I'm fully doxxed, so I've got nothing to lose. You're not. You could ruin me if I didn't pay you since I'm out there. You aren't doxxed, thus I can't do the same to you. The a last payment a scam is straight out of the scammer's playbook. He accepted the deal, but nothing was accomplished. Then, two days later, he replies to me in the manner of a classic con artist, stating, let's finish with the last payment. Instagram verifies a con artist who con artists me. Dawkins is indignant, saying, what we have here is a situation where Instagram won't verify me and as a direct result people are getting scammed, and yet they can verify a scammer who ends up scamming me. According to Dawkins, there has been a lot of criticism of cryptocurrency for its insufficient security and poor business methods. As the CEO of a project that has recently received 10 million in contributions from token purchasers, 
I can attest that consumers have a legitimate desire to know that their money is secure. Platforms like Instagram, which have the capacity to stop fraud and fraudsters by acting quickly when they are brought to their attention, are really helping the con artists, according to Dawkins. Dawkins criticizes Instagram. It is beyond negligent for Instagram to refuse to act on complaints made to them at this time, when retail investors are being tempted back into the market in the latest meme coin frenzy, as witnessed by the success of Love Hate Inu's line of token sale and the 1000% plus price pumps for the likes of Pepe, Wojak, and Sponge. Lastly, surprise, surprise, the fraudster at Adalbertonito2 who deactivated his Instagram account has returned, this time with 485k followers and a blue tick.